That's old as sh It's very old. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello, my hands will be starring in this particular video. So, I have pulled lipstick, lip gloss, liners, liquid lipstick. I have pulled it from literally everywhere. And this is gonna be the same intro for at least three videos. So my plan is to cull down this giant collection. The three part series will consist of one video for lipsticks and lip liners, just regular bullet lipsticks. I have liquid lipsticks, a lot of liquid lipsticks. I expect that to be the longest video. I will be trying to do swatches as well. Bear with me. I'm not going to swatch everything. Obviously, that would take way too long. I also have over here glosses, lip plumpers, lip balms. So that's what's on this side right here. I also have a couple palettes. I'm going to incorporate those into the like regular lipstick category. I also have this right here, which is the one lipstick organizer I have in a drawer. Honestly, I need probably three or four of those to really accommodate everything. Oh my god, I have pulled them from freaking everywhere every little container, every organizer that I could possibly find. And yes, this is a massive amount. Honestly, I was afraid it was going to be more. So I'm going to go through by category literally everything. So without further ado, let's get into Alrighty, it. Alrighty guys, so now we are getting into glosses, balms, lip toppers. So basically anything that is not a regular bullet or a regular liquid lipstick. I'm gonna try to keep this one a little bit faster than the rest. So I'm gonna start off with first these LA Girl gloss toppers. I actually, again, this was something that I purchased for lip swatching and video and then never used. Now I did use this one right here, but these three are brand new. So I'm gonna put those also in a giveaway because they're new and unopened, unused. So I'm just gonna try to find some ways to minimize, again, like throwing away products. And this is a good way for me to do that. So those are in a giveaway. This entire section of the gold ones are all Mally. And I believe a lot of these are unused. Any of them that have literally never been used like this, I am going to give away. These are a little bit older, so I don't want to put them in a giveaway. But, you know, again, friends and family might want these. I am keeping my two Jeffree Stars, so I'm going to put those to the side. And then I'm also going to keep these. These are Essence uh, Lip Plumpers. These are the Plumping Nudes. I actually think these are really pretty. They're not incredibly plumping, but they do give a little bit of a plump, and I like them. I bought them to use in a video, and then I wound up just kind of like grabbing and using them, but I am going to keep these. Also, I'm going to keep my Fresh Sugar Lip Balms. I have two full sizes right here. I also have a couple of the Minis and Rose. But these are definitely older. Yeah, those are definitely older. And I think the other one is pretty well used. So I'm going to let these two go. I tend to prefer the clear ones of those. Also from It Cosmetics, the Je Ne Sais Quoi, which is kind of similar. I'm going to hold on to that. Let's talk about a few things I'm going to keep. I have new MAC lip glass from their holiday collection. I have some Huda lip strobes. I also have some Pat McGrath glosses. So I am going to be keeping all of those. All right. So I have some Becca ones right here, but I also have some here in this bin. Where are they? Upside down. So this one I just got a Glow Gloss. I really, really like the um, lip intuitive one. It kind of just color changes your lips. This is the Chrissy Teigen one. That's really colored. Okay. Those are pretty. I kind of want to use this formula a bit more before I decide to get rid of it because they are pretty. I'm not doing really good so far. I've got Dior lip products. That's a smoothing lacquer. It's a lip maximizer. That's the plumper. I think this one, smoothing lacquer. I'm not sure. Like Dior has so many lip products, I can't even keep them all straight. But I'm going to hold on to these right here. But this one is definitely older. You can tell it's got that older packaging, but also like the color is a little different. The formula inside is kind of weird so I'm gonna let that one go 
So this is another Pat McGrath. This is the vinyl gloss that's like a topper. I love that. So I'm definitely holding on to that. We've got Lipstick Queen, which is like that green one that color changes. I'm just gonna hold on to this to see if my mom or aunt would like that. This is my Dino Platts lip balm. I think this should be still good yeah absolutely it smells so good too so i'm gonna hold on to that these are definitely older these are etude house and they kind of act like that color shift again i don't know that one's got a glittery to it but they're kind of similar honestly to the jeffree star um the ones that are toppers this one is like a real real red but i am going to just let those go i've had them a very long time this is the twinkle lips from wow that is in korean okay i'm not sure who makes that and i have no idea how old that is either so i'm gonna let that go i have my elizabeth arden clear lip gloss a really good clear i don't have many clear lip glosses and the jeffree star one also have the shane gloss and i just got and then this is a a different shade these are brand new this Tristique is like this weird balm i don't know about that i don't like the packaging so i'm probably gonna see if my mom or aunt would like that I've got tardis glossy lip paint i do like the jouet lip toppers i have a few more of these somewhere i'll have to grab they are really pretty i'm gonna hold on i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep all those yet any of the rest of these little ones i've got lottie london i've got nyx i just don't reach for these because they're so small and i'm trying to do my best not to keep a bunch of small ones so i'm gonna let these go so we've got some buxom in here i have a couple of full-size buxoms as well i have this one i'm actually missing one i it's weird that in the mass of all this i actually know that i'm missing one but i have a buxom one that's leopard print but i was going to keep it anyway i'm going to keep my big one i think this is russian a white russian yeah so i'm keeping white russian and then i don't know where the other big one is this is an elf lip balm i'm going to keep the elf one because i only kept the je ne sais quoi really similar so it's got like that pinkish color and then they color change so I've got a high-end and a drugstore. I've got all of these little mini buxom glosses. Now, of small glosses, these would probably be the ones that I would keep. I've got a mini white Russian, but it's been well-loved. This one looks really pretty. This one, Leslie, I've worn a good bit, and I know it's a little older. This one, I don't know if I've ever worn this one. It's pretty, it's like a berry kind of shade. So I actually think I'm gonna keep the rest because these, I like the more glittery ones. The Leslie one looks a little bit more metallic. So I'm gonna keep these. I'm gonna start pulling out of here. So you guys know I love CoverGirl, but these melting pout glitz are a little too like gritty for me and they're a little sticky too. Honestly, they stay on well, but I just don't reach for these a lot. And if I'm gonna do a glittery gloss, I'm probably gonna pick one of my buxom up. So I'm gonna let those go. Some of my favorites, I'm gonna quickly just whip out of here. I think I have one in my bathroom too. Are the Tarte H2O glosses. I absolutely love. I'm keeping these. Love them so much. This Appeal Holographic Gloss I am going to get rid of, I think. That one just doesn't do much for me personally, so I'm gonna let that one go. I've got a couple Lime Crime Diamond Crushers. I actually think I have one more color. I'm not seeing it in here, but I think I have like a light pink color. I'm gonna hold on to my Diamond Crushers for now. A few more things that I forgot before we get straight into the bin. NYX Duo Chromatic. I don't really like the formula of this, uh, to be honest, and they're kind of like that unicorn-ish kind of thing that doesn't really work for me. The Creme Sheen Glass from MAC I'm gonna hold on to. We've got a Milani. This is one of the Hypnotics Lights Topper. I like this one. This is actually a Glam Glow Matte Lip Treatment. The Dear Darling Tint from Etude House. I don't really have anything quite like that. Um, this Tarte Sting Zing is like honestly one of the best lip plumpers. I love Tarte and I love the Grande ones. And then finally we have the Lorac Beauty and the Beast Collection Glosses. I don't want to let these go yet. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not going to talk about why. Alginus Reveal Lip Gloss. I'm going to let go. It is definitely on the older side. All right, this Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Gloss. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm definitely keeping that. This Alouette Face Paint. Um, I'm just going to see if my mom would want that. I really like this floor gloss gloss <laughs> Floss gloss. I got it in, I think maybe Allure. I like that one too. I don't have many clears, like I said. And while we're talking about one that's a little bit more clear, I knew I had one. Um, these are the wet cherry glosses from Lime Crime. They definitely give you that like super wet, shiny look. I love these. Again, I'm not doing a very good job. Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy. I think colored ones are kind of on the older side. Although that looks pretty good. I'm not sure about that yet. We've got ColourPop Ultra Glossy. This is the shade Flying Horses. Oh, I don't like the brush tip. Grande Lips. These are some of my favorites. I don't really see myself getting rid of these. So I'm definitely going to be keeping my Grande ones. 
Too Faced. This is from the Tutti Fruity line. I like these. I have a few more of those somewhere. This Urban Decay. I think this is Back Talk. When they came out with their new glosses. It's actually really pretty. I've had that one for a while, but I haven't really worn it much. The Lorac Tantalizer. I don't think I'm going to hold on to that. We have the Too Faced Pink Swan Lip Gloss. Was that last holiday collection? I'm not sure. We got Anastasia glosses. I really thought I would do a better job culling down my gloss collection. This Lancome Lip Lover is super old. We're going to let that go. This MAC Lip Glass, I think, is a little, like, shorter. Yeah, like, this is a weird size. Mm, I don't know about that one. This is the Han All Natural Lip Gloss Antioxidants. Oh wow, got some pigment too. That one smells pretty strong. Uh, my Fenty Gloss Balm I'm not gonna get rid of. Heart Lip Paint. Oh, that looks pretty. Mm, I think I'm gonna get rid of that one because I'm keeping all my Tarte H2O. We got Burberry. I don't actually know. I think this is gloss. Oh yeah, oh that's pretty. Damn it. I'm putting like one-offs right here because they're random. We've got, I think this is a Makeup Forever like metallic liquid lip. I don't think it's supposed to feel as thick as it does. Got a MAC Dazzle Glass. Okay, so here's some MAC. I know I'll have some more in here. NYX Shimmer Down Lip Veil. Oh, that's pretty. Damn it. Real her. Why does all the gloss have to be so pretty? Dazzle glass, Anastasia. There's another dazzle glass. Oh, that's got the brush tip. That's another duo chromatic from NYX. I'm not gonna keep that. Laritzi. Mm, color's just okay. Pumpkin spice. I think I have a newer version. Yes, okay, so this, oh, they are different. So one's from last holiday and one's from this holiday. This is last holiday. I thought for sure they would be like the same color. This is this year's holiday pumpkin spice. Oh, I really like this gloss too. It's like glittery without being too chunky. I'm gonna get rid of the real her. I'm gonna get rid of this Han because I have to be cutthroat right now. Wet n Wild lip gloss. I think this is like a metallic and I don't, yeah, like I've got a, a red metallic from Smashbox that's a lot prettier. Pixie, I just got that one. Makeup Geek. Uh, I don't really see myself wearing that color. Guys, I'm not doing good. NARS Orgasm. I'm going to keep that. This Jouer Lip Topper is in Frostbite. I think I might have a mini of that, but I'm probably going to keep the full size. Actually, let me put it over here. Bunny Bars are really nice little balms. I love my Bunny Bars. So these are my Tony Moly bunny bars. I really like those. Doing a horrible job. These Too Faced Lip Injection colored ones are like super faded. I know that these are old. Huda Lip Strobe, I'm gonna keep. Ofra Madison Miller Lip Gloss, I just got recently, I'm gonna keep. I really like this Neutrogena Hydro Burst Hydrating Lip Shine. It's got a really nice formula. Oh, it looks like we have a couple different of the peach. Peach Teas and Peach Please. This is Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie. This is super old. Yeah, got another Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy. Again, the colored ones. I'm not sure if those are old or not. The Milani Moisture Lock. I really wanted this to be a dupe for the Clarins Lip Oil. It just really isn't, unfortunately. Got another Dazzle Glass. So these are all MAC glosses. We have Anastasia. Let's see, Wet n Wild. This is the, oh, Starlet Studios. Uh, brand that carried at Target. I did a video, I did not like it. Kevin Aquan gloss. I'm gonna hold on to shocker. I've got all these wet and wild ones that I don't want to part with, but I'm 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 looking at them. I might. This Laroc Alter Ego gloss. I don't really see myself wearing that. It's like baby doll, super pigmented. Anastasia Mini. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna wear that. If I wear a color that dark, it's gonna be a matte. Cause otherwise, I will get it everywhere. The Ciate Lip Luster. Not really impressive. This Gerard Cosmetics. I just like this because it lights up and it has the mirror. And it's got a really pretty, um, like a peachy color, which I don't usually like in a matte, but like summertime, that's really cute. I got another MAC Dazzle Glass. Let me swatch a couple of these Anastasia ones. I don't really see myself wearing that color. 
Oh, I think that one's old. That one feels weird. Oh, that one's nice. Super pigmented. Ooh, wow, okay. So I think I'm gonna get rid of two of those. These right here. Let me swatch this NYX Shimmer Down. This is a lip veil. Oh, that is really pretty. Okay, I'll keep that. Yay! Laura Geller. I think these are really chunky glitter. No, they're just sticky. It's so pretty though, but I don't think I'm gonna keep it because I don't think I like that formula. Okay, really quick. This is Colored Rain Firecracker. I remember liking this color. Well, I do like it. Like, it is pretty but I don't really see myself reaching for that often. Also, I find that packaging obnoxious. I don't know, I, I guess I like more like sleek packaging, but I don't really like that. I think I'm gonna see if somebody else might want that because it's still almost brand new. I've got a few NARS. That one's Orgasm, Dulce Vita. It's really pretty. This is a Charlotte Ronson, I think. Oh, Charlotte Gainsborough. <laughs> Why did I think that? Um. I guess I'll hold on to those for now because I'm a little uncertain. I kind of don't really love the orgasm one, um, but it's like a staple color. The liquid catsuit lip topper. This was from that fire and ice. Uh, I don't really like that either. Oh, we've got one more NARS. A bunch of wet and wild. So we've got like the Zodiac sign collection. I have a bunch of those. Is that all of them? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it's like I'm missing one. Got Anastasia in Maui. Is that an old shade? I think I'm gonna pitch Maui. I think that one's old. Got like a little plain lip injection. Another lip injection colored one. What do we have here? This is a Lancome and another Anastasia. Oh, that one's pretty. Now let's see what this Lancome one looks like. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna keep that Lancome one. Okay guys, sorry if the lighting change is annoying. Um, I'm working out in my living room and it's getting dark, you know, because it's 4.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, 4.42, so it's still, so it's already getting dark. And then Mr. Minners would like to cast a shadow as well. We're almost through the glosses. We have a little bit more that I found. I've got two NYX Butter Gloss. I'm gonna hold on to those. I found my other Diamond Crusher, so I was wrong. It was a different color. So I've got three Lime Crime Diamond Crushers. This was the other Buxom. I found it. We've got one MAC. This is the Grand Illusion Glossy. I'm gonna hold on to that. You wanna hold it, buddy? Here you go, okay. Well, you want to be in it. These are kind of random. Um, these are the Wet n Wild like unicorn lip colors. Probably should have done these with lipsticks, but honestly, I'm not gonna keep them. It's not really a look that's good on me, I think. I've got these NYX Plush. I think these are pretty old. They're a gel lipstick. I don't remember the last time I saw these, so I'm just gonna get rid of those. I'm keeping the Wet n Wild, except I'm gonna swatch this darker purple, because I don't know. Yeah, I definitely don't see myself wearing that one. Let me swatch this like a lavendery one. Ugh. Yeah, I don't really see myself wearing either of those for obvious reasons. So I will keep the more wearable colors. And then I said I was gonna keep my Jouer lip topper. This is the shade Frostbite. I think this was Frostbite as well. And I hope you guys can see that. It is like super separated and weird. Um, yeah, we're gonna let that go. Yeah, I swear there was another one that looked like that. Maybe it's just this one. Oh yeah, you can see it's a little like milky in there. Now that may just be separation, but I have had these for a while and I don't think it really looks as nice as it did in the beginning. Honestly, I just need to like pick a couple shades that I like and get like a full size because I've had these minis for a while. Um, I think Skinny Dip was another one that I really liked. Yeah, that one's more of like a goldy. But honestly, I feel like I should get a few full sizes and just be done with it. Like those are my favorites. I think I'm gonna hold on to these long enough to know. Oh, Saint-Tropez. Okay, that was Saint-Tropez. Okay, so I think I'm gonna hold on to these three long enough for me to decide if I want full sizes. Um, I am probably gonna declutter them soon. And then the others I don't really reach for, um, these darker ones. I don't really top lipsticks with something that's, although that one's pretty. Which one is this? Rose gold. I'll hold on to rose gold. So I'll let these other two go and then I'll decide if I want, you know, some full size of those particular ones. 
All right, we don't have much else to contend with, but we do have a few glosses here in this organizer. First off, we have this Lancome one. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty old one. It's Fever Gloss. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's hella old. The Laura Geller, I've already said, I don't really like that formula. We've got another Buxom one. This is, oh, this is the I, ooh, this is old because it still says ID Bare Essentials on it. I think that's really old packaging. We've got this little rock. That's old as shh. It's very old. Another Laura Geller. I just don't really like the formula of her lip glosses, unfortunately. These Clinique baby tints are so old. I'm avoiding going to the Juicy Tubes. The Melting Pout, those are liquids. That's a liquid. This is a gloss from Julep. Mm, I think we've already kept a gloss similar to that. Juicy tubes. I need to go through those. This is a NARS velvet lip gloss. I'm just going to go ahead and toss it right now because it's old. Juicy tubes. I need to pull out. Oh my gosh. Anybody still use juicy tubes? Like, or is that just like super old now? This one is hella old as is the little baby one. And these I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. I waited and waited and waited and was like, no, I'm not going to get rid of them. They're so good. The OCC lip tars. I'm gonna get rid of them. They really probably should go in the liquid lip category. I've got so many liquid lips to go through though. Hold your paw. Um, that I'm just gonna get rid of them now. These are so old. I don't even think the company's around anymore, which is sad. Let's see what else. I think I've got a couple Clinique lip oil. Ooh, this is the lip oil. Really separated. Oh gosh. Okay, please don't make a mess. Yes, this is the one that the packaging was always bad on. Get that out of here before I make yet another mess. We have this Bite Beauty Gold Gloss. I remember people were going crazy for this. I don't really like it. Lip Oil from Julep. I actually really like that. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. These from, these are Pirates of the Caribbean from Lorac. I actually really like these. They are, however, like a double-ended. Let me swatch them really quick and decide. Since I've already done regular, ooh, that's such a pretty color. Let's check out this gloss. Why does the gloss look so brown? Oh, I think that changed colors. Yikes, okay. That probably means that this one's old too. Oh man, the, I don't think I even got those that long. I think I found them at TJ Maxx and got really excited because they were limited. But honestly, I think they're old because that gloss is really turned. But that's so pretty, ugh. Okay, juicy tubes. Ooh, this one's old. Yeah, a couple of these are not. I'm gonna see if my mom or aunt would like these two. My Roku just restarted like for no reason. Um, and then maybe this one too, cause I think it looks like I've maybe used it like once. Um, it looks very gently used. So I'll let them see if they like that. Oh, lip glass. Okay, I was like, I know that lip glass is a weird shape. And I didn't feel like I had only one. And then the rest of these, yeah, those are liquid lips. I think we're good. So I was feeling like I did really bad decluttering my glosses. I mean, obviously you guys just saw it all, but this is what I have left. I do still think that this is a lot. I probably should cull down these wet and wild ones, but for now I wanna keep them. I'm sure at some stage I need to like, you know, get rid of more, but right now I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job where I can at least get to the point where everything is organized and I can see what I got and what I'm using and what I'm not using. And yeah, I feel like I have a little bit more under control so I have added a lot to the get rid of and the donate pile. Let's end the video with Mr. Minners. So thank you guys so, so much for watching me declutter my glosses. Hopefully this wasn't too long. I tried to keep it a little bit faster, but you know how it is when you have a lot. It takes a lot of time to go through it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that. And yeah, this is my collection now of glosses that you just saw. And I'm feeling a lot better. And I feel like my collection is a little bit more manageable. So thank you guys for hanging around. If you have not seen other lip declutters, there will be in total three. One for liquid lips, one for regular lipsticks, and one for glosses, which is this one. Duh. I have a Declutter Diaries playlist, so if you're ever in doubt, if you've seen them, you can go check out that list and see what you've watched and what you haven't watched, and that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave me a thumbs up and let me know that you like these type of videos, and I'll see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye!